morning. I hope you're all good. I hope you're all well. Um, we are back. We are back with another video. Um, before this video even starts, a little bit of call to arms. Can you please, if you haven't already, just hit that subscribe button down there. It does help. And if you have subscribed, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, so we are back. I am back. This truck is back. Um, I don't know if you saw on the Instagram the other week. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I'll put it down there now for you to follow. Um, the truck was a bit poorly. She broke down. More on that later. Um, but I am back, the truck is back, and you yourselves are back, the viewers. So thanks for returning. Um, it is oh, <laughs> 419 in the amp. 419 in the hand and the saying's beeping over there and it needs to shut up. Um are you talking or am I? Yeah. Cool. Right. <laughs> anyway, uh so we You just technology, you just can't win. Right, so we are gonna get going up the road in a minute. We're ready to rock and roll. And uh, speaking of rock and roll, in honour of the Oasis reunion, I am wearing my finest, I suppose it's like a parka, to honour the legends that are Liam and Noel. Um, did, did anyone get tickets? If you got tickets, comment below, because guess what? I did not! <laughs> and I really wanted to go, but... You know, um, I had Alice's mum in the queue for tickets for like, well, it was a whole day, I'm not going to lie. And we got no one. Oh, well, that is the modern world. Anyway, stop talking, Pete. There is work to be done. Let's go and do it. So, obviously, today is a filming day, <laughs> which means only one thing. It's, it's raining. It's starting to rain again. Um, in my defence, it did rain all day yesterday as well. And today looks like it's going to be no different. There is rain on my windscreen. It's just starting to... Um, which actually, I'm not going to lie, quite glad I put the jacket on now. Wasn't actually going to wear a jacket today. Um, basically, I'm going to give you the most irrelevant and boring story that no one asked for, but you're going to get it anyway. Because do you know what? That's how we roll on this channel. So... As I've said before, I get dressed in the bathroom um, pretty much in the dark because I don't like to disturb Sleeping Beauty as she lays so peacefully next to me. Um, you know, the alarm goes off at silly o'clock in the morning. I say my goodbyes and then I tiptoe across the flat in the dark into the bathroom and I get dressed in there. Anyway, I got myself dressed and I thought, hmm, something is missing. My arms feel naked. I do not feel covered, I feel exposed. Um, which normally isn't a problem, but you know what? It's getting colder in the mornings, I'm starting to notice it. And then I realised that. I forgot to put a hoodie out last night. Now, my hoodies live in the bedroom, um, in the wardrobe. Now, was I at silly o'clock in the morning about to tippy toe back into the bedroom, disturb Alice from her beauty sleep, just so I can go, by the way, I forgot to get a hoodie out, just gonna wake you up and make a load of noise. No, no I wasn't because I value my life. And I feel like if I'd done that, I would have been murdered. Um, so the only thing I could find was said jacket. And I was like, do you know what? This is hanging up in the hallway. This'll do. So yeah, there you go. There's a random insight into my mindset at silly AM. This red light, red light. Right, I have a theory on red lights, okay? I genuinely, oh, it's quarter to five, so what I'm about to say wouldn't hold true, but I genuinely believe between the hours of like midnight and 4 AM, red light shouldn't be a thing. You should just be allowed to run every single one of them because why am I going to sit at a junction when I'm the only car on the road at like two, three o'clock in the morning? It, the, the logic, it's the logic doesn't logic. Um, 
I'm sure people are like, well, safety reasons. Yeah, but I'm the only one here. <laughs> there is a problem. Um, let me see if you can work out what it is. The gate shut. So we normally drive up here, spin round, and then park along here, but it's, it's not going to work. I've never ever seen these gates shut in my whole entire life. Why, why, why are the gates shut? How am I meant to turn around? Good news! The gates are open and we turned around. <laughs> At one point there was about six or seven people all stood around this gate. And people, cars were turning up and vans were turning up. And people were just looking at each other going, the gate shut. Yeah, yeah, the gate shut. Yeah. Why is the gate shut? I was hoping you'd be able to tell me and then we'd all look at each other with a puzzled face and then another car would turn up and they'd hop out and they'd go the gate shut and we went yeah the gate shut and they went why is the gate shut and we went I don't know why the gate shut we just turned up and the gates were shut we, we, and then someone who actually worked there went the gate shut I went yeah no the gate shut and he went well, why is the gate shut I was like I don't know why the gate shut and he went these gates haven't been shut in 10 years I was like but this morning they're shut I don't know why the gates are shut <laughs> it's eating into my nap time and I'm a bit yeah um, anyway the good news is um, the gates are now open um, someone knew how to open the gates and well they're open now so all is well I mean it has eaten into my nap time quite considerably which I'm a little bit annoyed about however it is fine because um, it is now nap time so I'm going on my bed and yeah I'll catch up with you in a bit uh, it's, it's all fun and games isn't it really I suppose okay we can finally head in uh, a little bit later than what we wanted to be but it is fine all is well in life Yes. Let, right, let's try and do this at some sort of pace, just because. Running late. Um, that little hold up with the gate cost us a bit of time. And then there was a, one of our tippers here this morning. Oh, this is a bad angle. Nope, bad angle. What was I saying about let's do this quick? Yeah. Not going brilliantly. Right, that's a better angle. There we go. And breathe, Pete. Yeah, so it, that held us up a little bit. And uh, I slightly messed my angle up there. Oh, for the love of God, why am I seeing... No, he can wait. Forget it. I'm going in. Oh, this is a bad angle. It's not going well this morning. I'm not going... No. No, need, need, need another go. Friggin hell, I'm gonna start swearing in a minute. Oh, this is just. Right, we'll let him go. It's just not going well. Oh, for the love of God! I'm actually gonna start shouting in a minute. I'm getting the ump now. People just getting in my way. Parking cars and running down the side. It's actually starting to annoy me. Okay, shall we try again? We can certainly try. Is that a better angle? Finally, I think he's got it. But hey, right, we're going. Right, watch the wall. Yeah, sometimes... It doesn't always go to plan. And that was a prime example of it not going to plan. However, with a bit of perseverance, we can overcome anything. Um, sometimes you need to say the occasional swear word. Will she go round? Yes, look at that, eh? I somewhat know what I'm doing, occasionally. Okay, are we in line with the bridge? We are in line with the bridge. 
Yes. All is well, sort of. I mean, it's six o'clock. It's not brilliant, but it's fine. <clears throat> Basically, we've got a we've got a half seven curfew at the power station. If you're not there before half seven, you can't go in until half nine. There's a two hour like no entry zone. So I could have done with being in a little bit earlier than what we are, but fear not. Hopefully, we will still make it. But we need a quick turnaround. Good news is, we're in! Right, we are getting loaded. Um, it's 10 past six. So, like I was saying, the cutoff for the power station is half seven. It's a 40 minute drive from here to the power station uh, on a clear run. So I need to be gone in the next 20 to 25 minutes to give myself half a chance. Um, it's gonna be tight, I'm not gonna lie. We could have done with being a little bit earlier than this, but it is fine. The adventure continues. Um, are we gonna make it? We'll find out. All I can do now is just, this is the most frustrating part, is I know time's ticking away, and all I can do is just sit and wait, so. Let's commence the sitting and waiting, I suppose. Right, let's go. It's 20 to 7. Gives me 50 minutes to do a 40 minute journey without traffic. I'm not sure how we're going to get on. I'm not confident, but well, it could go either way. I need a clear run, so let's go. Come on. Now, without trying to jinx myself, um, this is going okay. <laughs> I don't want to say it because I'll end up messing myself up, but normally this road is tailing back halfway down it, but we are five to, well, 6.53, so nearly five to seven, and we're still moving, which I see as a positive. If it carries on like this, we'll be okay. I know what you're thinking, oh, this is just clickbait, he's just saying this. No, no, genuinely, I, I'm a little bit concerned about my time because if I don't get in before half seven, I have to wait until half nine and that literally ruins my whole day. Puts me behind for the rest of the day and then I'm just chasing my backside all day. I don't want to be doing that, to be honest. So we just need to keep moving. So far, progress is good. Long may it continue. <laughs> Quarter past seven. I made it. I made it. 35 minutes. Do you know what? That is, that is not bad going. Um, I was, I come out and I was getting closer and closer and I thought, I'm not going to film it because the roads are quiet. And I thought if I start filming, I'm going to tempt fate. I'm going to jinx myself. And then, it's all gonna go horrifically wrong. But we made it. Um, fate was not tempted. And we're here. And it's empty, which is even better, actually. Right, let's get this. Right, so there are a few loads on the floor. However, I'm just gonna put it in front of one of them. And it'll be fine, probably. I just keep it over this way a little bit. Uh, we'll aim for here, and that should be okay. There we go. I reckon next to this one. Don't you know what? I don't even need to go in front of it. We'll just go sort of next to it. All my windows have all steamed up. Right, that'll do. Right, we have jumped slightly forwards in our day. Um, however, your boy needs diesel. So, let us go and fill this truck up and then we can get back on the road and get moving. Um, that's the plan. So let's do it. Oh, it's just like being at the beach, eh? <laughs> 
okay admittedly um, it's very grey and cloudy and it's not very warm and there's no sea and all I can smell is diesel but in a land where you have to make your own happiness in life you know we can just pretend we're at, we're at the beach it's fine um, also right little life hack now a lot of lorry drivers we use tennis balls to clamp in it um, to hold the clip down because this clip's not working I don't have a tennis ball. What I do have is my bottle opener on my car keys. And it works perfectly. Improvise, adapt, overcome. That is the motto of the SAS. And that is what I'm doing today. Oh yes. Oh, she was a bit thirsty. Right, let's get out of here. I haven't got a free bottle of Lucasade on my uh, my show app. One of life's little wins, you know. I'm happy with that. That's made my day. Uh, I'm a simple man. I live a relatively simple life. Little things like that, they make me happy. You know, little 3D here and there. You can't go wrong. It's good at that shell app. I'm not going to lie. Uh, right, should we... Uh, should we get amongst it and go and do a bit, you know? We'll try to, anyway. Someone's waving at me. It's always nice to see people that like to see you. It's nice when it's a friendly wave and not a two-fingered one. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not quite so nice. Or you get the old sailor's wave, which is like the five-knuckle wave, if you know what I mean. Um, I've had a few of them over my time. Right. Now that van is going. We are loading for the landfill. So what we're going to have to do is, uh, it's a little bit of a fiddly one. So we'll pull into here. We're literally backing up to this pile here. So spin around, avoiding all the skits and yellow bollard. Out the gate, bit of a bend on it. And hopefully, She'll go sort of steady round without hearing a loud crunch and me hitting a, a bollard on the way bridge here. That's sort of the plan anyway. Ooh, right, where is that bollard? Yeah, see, I know there's a bollard down there. I just watched one of our other drivers do this faultlessly as well, so I kind of want to, kind of want to do the same. Okay, we need to come forwards. We're about to hit a bollard. <laughs> this is tighter than I thought it was going to be. Well, we're in. <laughs> we nearly hit that yellow bollard back in round, but we didn't. And that's all that matters. Um, we did have to get out and have a look. And uh, you probably heard Deeran on the shovel was like, hey, I was like, sorry. But no damage is done. Friday afternoon is a go. Let's rock and roll, eh? Let's rock and roll. E -I -E -I -E -I -O. Up onto the tip we go When we get up there We will tip our low Yeah, that almost works Nearly Right Let's get onto the tip Let's get this tip And then let's go home And in between that process somewhere I will find somewhere to have a wee Because I need a wee um, it's very quiet up here today as well, which is nice, that's what we like. Uh, we like it when it's quiet. Quiet is good, quiet means no cues. Quiet means drive in, turn around, tip, drive out. And that is exactly the kind of behaviour I am here for. Anyway, um, oh, it's a bit bumpy. Drop a gear. There we go. Keep her moving, keep her flowing. Anyway, to start of the video, I said I would explain more about this lorry breaking down. Um, well, if I can do it with the edit, um, I will now insert the little video of what was happening with the truck.
basically, I was sat getting loaded, and all of a sudden the lorry started uh, idling, really, really lumpy, and then it cut out. And I was like, ah, that is not good. Um, and then, oh, we got it started, I got it started, it died on me again. We thought fuel filters, and then when the fitter came out to have a look, uh, he discovered that the ECU was kaput. The ECU was sending all kind of mad signals, saying that all the cylinders were wide open and it was overfueling and cutting out and dying. So yeah, it's had a whole new ECU programmed into it and hopefully now she'll be fine. Anyway, right, so the machine is put his bucket down where he wants me to go, or his blade. And now we will just back into that space. It's quite dusty, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to struggle to see out that passenger mirror, but we are going. It's that awkward line, you don't want to go too quick so you can't see out your mirror, but you also need, you need a bit of speed just to carry you through so you don't get bogged down and sink. Right, you should beat me in a sec. Anywhere here? Right, that is us ticked, as always. Trusty bit of rebar. Checking the old tyres. Ah. I'll probably explain it before, but if I haven't, I'm just running it between my two drives and I'm just checking there's no bricks sitting in between. Because what happens is you get bricks stuck between, the tyres get hot, kaboom, uh, the, the friction, so. Yeah, just checking there's no thing. What have we got here? Ah! And then I was about to say, you check under your lorry and make sure you've not picked anything up. Oh, it's in the airbag. Really? Oh. Right, okay, we need to get that out. We'll deal with that in a minute. Ugh. That's annoying. Why can't it just been hooked to the body of the lorry or something? Why is it in the airbag? Right, tyre checks. It's always something. Always when you want to go home. So, first thing we've tried is raise the airbag right up to try and relieve the... Yeah, there we go, see? Jack the airbag up and it's just released the pressure. And now that can... Uh, that can... Uh, that can come out from under the truck now. Lovely. Yeah, so we just raise the air right up on the air suspension. Release a bit of pressure out the airbag. Jobs are good and right. Home time. Man like big Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi for the YouTube. <laughs> big up the dream capture. And big up home time, is what we say. So, <laughs> this is why, on a Friday, you don't want to be the last one back in the yard, because there's nowhere to park. Well, there is. I found a space over in this corner. I'm not actually sure if they really want us parking where I'm going to park, but it is the only space I can find. Um, so, I'm parking in it, really. That's sort of my my logic i need parking i see a space this is normally where we park like spare lorries and spare trailers but try not to back into the uh, the 660 that would not go down very well would it ed i've just smashed up a brand new lorry that would that would be a conversation i do not want to i think i'd just tap my keys in i think i'd just walk down the bottom and go here's my keys i won't be back You'll find out why when you go up the top of the yard and just make a swift exit. I would just make a very... Oh, well, I've messed that reverse up somewhat. Could have done it better. We'll have a shunt. But yeah, as you can see, the yard is... Um, the yard on a Friday when all the drivers are back in the yard. It's all right in the week because like, none of the trampers are, are back. They're all up the road. So you have multiple choice of spaces. But yeah, when they all get back in, Fridays are just carnage for getting parking spaces. Let's uh, let's let old McKenna in. Uh, I don't want to run him over. 
Lovely, right. I'm in. I am in and I am parked. I'll back up a bit so he's got space to open his door. That will do for me. I'm, I'm just going to leave it here. I mean, if they want to move it, they can. It's, it's not a problem, but there's no other spaces in the yard at the moment. Um, but that's my day done. We are finished. It is another day complete. I was going to film more of my drive home, but then I got chatting to me brother on the phone and we was just putting the world to right, having the world to right, putting the world to right, just having a, a good old chinwag, you know what I mean? Just talking waffle, as brothers do. Um, but, like I said, the day's done. I'm going home. It is ten past five. And that's not a bad old day, to be fair. We'll take that. We, we come in just just in a 13 hour day so it weren't too bad um there are a lot of classic lorries in the yard at the moment so if you'd like to have a look at some classic lorries um drop a comment down below and i'll see if i can grab a few of them and give you a little tour around some of the eight wheelers and some of their classic units that are in here at the moment um with that being said uh i appreciate all the support the channel's getting it's growing well at the moment like, it's going really well and I'm very happy and if you're happy then I'm happy and if you want to keep seeing me do more of what I do and talking absolute nonsense for half an hour of your week then please as always like comment and subscribe and um, as always I'll see you on the next one